What's up guys? I'm back. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I make my teas. Yeah, T-E-A. Hot teas that you sip on when you don't feel good and stuff. Yeah, that tea. Well, I wanted to make one for you guys today. And this specific tea, you guys, I, I just want you guys to try it one day. If you're ever feeling like you're getting sick or you're catching a cold, your throat hurts, um, your nose is running, you're sneezing, coughing, headache, any of that, especially for like your throat, this is the best tea you will ever take for a cold. Trust me, you guys. I, I really hope someone that's watching this just goes and tries it and your throat is hurting or something like that. And then come back to this video and let me know how it worked out for you. I'm telling you guys, this is the best thing you can do. But unless you have a fever, then go ahead and take Tylenol or Motrin or any of that stuff. But besides a fever, this works for a lot of those, you know, cold symptoms that you might be dealing with when you have a cold. So, I'm going to show you guys my little secret ingredients. Typical stuff that you might have in your kitchen cabinets or laying around the house. Nothing special. You might literally have this right in your kitchen. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So yeah, we put some water to boil. Turned it up on eight, so pretty high, so that we can get this water to boil, you know, quickly. Okay, so once it's boiling, you can go ahead and turn it off. If I was just making it for me, I would pour it in here and then, you know, put my ingredients in the cup. But when I'm making like enough for me and the boys and hubby, I just make it right here so it's, you know, a larger amount. So today that's what I'm going to do because I am going to be sharing with them. So let's go ahead and do it right there. What I like to do is I like to just throw in my tea bags. So I'm going to be using... Oops, I'm going to be using this um, Lipton black tea. You don't have to use black tea. You can use green tea. If it's um, late night and you're going to bed you can use, and you want something to just calm you down, you can use chamomile tea. Um, I have some here, but I'm just going to go with this black tea. Black tea has a lot of antioxidants and stuff in it. So I want to go ahead and use this one today. So I'm going to take one of my tea bags out of here. And I'm going to sit it in the water. Sometimes when I'm doing a lot, when I'm making a larger amount, I'll do I'll add in two bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one of these right in, oops, right in here. You guys, you see the bottom of my pot? You see all those little dots in there? That's from um, yesterday. I left the pot on, and I went and laid down and. I almost burnt my pot, so I got, now I'm stuck with those little brown dots at the bottom. I scraped it and everything, and nothing's working. So, but when I when I scrape at it, it nothing comes off. So I guess it's just permanently there now. Those little brown spots. All right, so I'm gonna um, let my tea soak in there for four minutes, which is what I usually wait if I don't forget. So 7:53. We'll be right back. In four minutes. This is my teacup. Every mom is a queen. My sister actually gave me this for Christmas last year. All right, so now it's been way past four minutes because I always forget. But so now um, what I'm gonna do is add all the other ingredients. So, sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out how to hold this damn phone. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is add or honey. I like to use this raw honey. It's organic. Two tablespoons of that honey. So I'm gonna pour one. Okay, and then I'll pour, I gotta put the phone down to do this. So I'm gonna pour the honey in the spoon again, okay? Well, then I'll pour that one in there. And you guys can always adjust it. If you need it a little bit sweeter, you can add more honey. And if you don't like it sweet, 
you don't have to add more than that. Sometimes I'll add a lot more of the honey in there because I like it. I like my tea really sweet, but I'm not gonna add too much today. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is add our apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna add like one little capful. I'll add one capful of that. I don't want too much vinegar because sometimes this apple cider can ruin it if you put too much in there. And my hubby hates apple cider vinegar. So I try not to add too much when I'm making some, you know, that he'll be drinking. So one capful is good. Right, let's go ahead and stir that. And then I'm going to put some lemon. Wash my lemon off. Squeeze two teaspoons, I mean two tablespoons of the lemon. I tried to um make sure I get rid of these little um seeds. But if they get in there, that's okay. Oh, my lemon just broke. Now, last but not least, you guys, you might not be expecting it, but ground cinnamon is great for the body. So you wanna add some of this in there. And this, I don't really measure, kinda just dump it once, twice, and that should be enough for this amount of water. And then I stir that in. And that's it. That is your tea, you guys. Now try this out at home and you guys let me know. I mean, you have to be feeling, your throat has to be hurting and stuff like that. So if you guys do have those symptoms um, of a cold or chest cold or head cold, try this and let me know. Please let me know in my comments if it worked or not. I gave my mother this re recipe because she's been sick lately. She cannot believe how well this tea worked, you guys. Alrighty, as you can even take the rest of the lemon and just leave it in there. You can cut it up or you can just throw it right in there just like that. And just let it sit in there for, you know, the next serving of tea. And that actually works better because the peel holds a lot of great benefits, you guys. Cheers.